Good morning, everyone. Rob out here. I'm always in hotwater.com and boats in hotwater.com. Out here with this 1999 Boston Whaler 23 Conquest. We finally got her out of her, her little dungeon over there. And um, just a quick, uh, a quick note. Remember, I am not a marine surveyor or a marine mechanic. And the boat is a little bit dirty. So um, she could definitely use a little bit of a cleaning. Uh, it's tougher to keep clean on this port side with her up against that wall in there. Uh, a lot of information, a lot of specs on the site, especially for the service that was just done. And I did just run a sea trial video on the vessel. So what I'm going to do now is just give you kind of a, uh, the quickest and best, what I would call a tire kick and walk through for you guys. As far as the cosmetic condition of the exterior hull for a 1999, I do not have any complaints. Um, she is, as you would expect, if you guys just take a look through, you're going to have a couple of nicks and goobers in spots, but really there isn't that many. Um, you know, we only have 104 hours on the engines. The original engines only had about four or 500 hours on them. You know, she's basically a, a six or 700 hour boat in general. That's the estimate. This is an original owner boat. And I'm going to get into more information. So this is going to be a little bit of a long video, so dig in. If you guys can see right here, she just she does clean right up. The exterior gel coat um, is in pretty good shape. You know, she's been, see that? Cleans right up. Um, you know, you got some tender rub. Dry stack stored, um, you know, for... Uh, the entirety, uh, this boat lived in Texas with the owner for the first 10 years, actually uh, eight years, and then moved here to Palmetto Bluff to dry stack storage, uh, you know, for the duration. She has not been used much in the last five years at all, hence the extensive service that was just done. You guys can see we got a little repair right there. Overall, she could use a good detail. Um, she definitely can come back. It's not anything drastic. I will let you know I've rubbed my hands on a few parts of the boat on the interior and I have a little bit of chalking. So she's definitely due for a detail. So just keep that in mind. Um, overall, the vessel, you know, is in solid shape. I mean, it's Boston Whaler, 23 Conquest. So there's that. On starboard side, as you can see, you know, a little bit of on off here which would come with the detail. Um, only thing that I can really see here is probably over the years, I quite, it's like a blemish. Um, there was probably a scratch or a repair done here, but nothing I can really see unless that's just the actual gel coat coming off. But I see similar right here. Whoever did it did a nice job. It's just that the paint hasn't held. I don't think anybody's really going to be too offended by this in the least, you know, because you know what you're looking at and you know what you're getting. I have uh, pictures on the site of, um, uh, oh man, I'm just, I'm trying to remember, um, uh, on the site of, you know, the boat in the hole and out of the hole and also in the water. So hopefully overall it'll give you a picture, but you could definitely use a detail. Now, trim tabs are in working condition. They did great on the water. And as you guys can see, the transducer wiring is fresh. Props are fresh. Anodes are fresh. These engines were just completely serviced less than an hour ago uh, of runtime. We're talking oils, thermostats, VST tanks, injectors, top to bottom water pumps. Um, the boat had basically sat and for about five years and the mechanic Chris at Carolina Marine and Machine came out and he is one of the best in the area if anybody knows of him and had gone through the whole boat immediately just drained the fuel tank didn't even try running the engines fresh fuel fresh water marine fuel separators new batteries uh, it, this cleans up just so you guys can see it cleans right up because um, that's usually folded up uh, sitting here uh, apparently some kind of little nibble it could have been a mouse could have been a chipmunk who knows a rabbit um, got into 
uh, midwise on your command link cables, harnesses, which are expensive for all those gauges, as well as your uh, main engine harnesses, they have all been replaced to new. In addition, the transducer cable was also replaced. There was no repairs. Everything was inspected as far as that went and replaced. So I will have an invoice for that. There is a trailer with this boat that is being serviced at the moment. And what's happening with that is once that's done, then it's all going to go on one invoice and I'll have that available to me. In addition to the pictures, what I do want to point out is I've been through most of the functions on the boat the best that I could. Uh, the windlass is in working condition. I checked that on the water. Your uh, spotlights and spreader lights are working. Uh, your anchor light. Your port nav light is working. The starboard uh, light is not. It probably just needs a bulb. Uh, even your directional control near your Raytheon, which looks pretty fresh if you see where it's at right now. And let's just kind of move that along. Uh, we go this way. There you go. So you can see hard top on this, rod holders. Um, in addition to needing a detail, you do have a little bit of pinning on your stainless. So it's not, you know, awful. But, um, you know, she could use a little bit of a detail, too. In going through all the functions on the vessel uh, that I haven't covered yet, the wiper motor is not working. Once again, my guess is probably just the motor. Uh, Willis is working. I did go through the bilge pump. Uh, I think accessory two is a forward bilge, from what I can hear. Uh, accessory, accessory one. Accessory two is your GHC-10 autopilot. Now, up top here, we have your VHF in working condition for the life of me. I cannot get this Raytheon SL-70 to come on. It may work. It may not. Um, you really don't need it with the Echo Map 70 dv the GPS 540S, or the GHC-10. Um, but it would have been a nice little home run. I do hear it power up. I just can't get it to come on Courtesy light works. I just checked that for the first time um, So most functions uh, Except for you know cabin lights or a courtesy light, which I think that's what that is And overall as far as the interior the bolsters as you can see they are what they are This side not too bad Bottom seating okay. Up here, you're starting to get a little drying and cracking. Let's just run our hand on this. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. This bolster's in a little better shape. Hey guys, just, I just might as well. Personal items as seen, not included. Just this cushion's in pretty decent shape. This cushion's in pretty decent shape. Those are your for your lures. And uh, helm seating, passenger side, you know, not bad. Once again, 1999 original. Um, get a little bit of fading here, no rips, no tears. Uh, captain's chair, same type of thing, no rips, no tears, so not too bad. Like I said, there's a lot of good here. And moving forward, I couldn't really tell while I was in the, um, when it was in its little cubby hole, but you know what? The interior cabin could use a little bit of a cleaning, but man, she smells real good in here and appears to be in real nice shape. In fact, let me just kind of pop in here so you guys can see. Ooh, let's try that. Oh, I don't know if that's if that was the courtesy light. That was the cabin light. Well, I can't jump out there now, but you know, it's not really, it's nice. I mean, it's not great. Don't get me wrong, but for a 1999, um, she's clean. Ooh, uh, overboard discharge. I didn't know that. Porta potty. And it's plumbed. So there we go with that. That was something that I should have kind of brought up in listing. So overall, not too bad. I don't really see any mold or leaks. Uh, then again, the boat hasn't been on the water except for me and the mechanic running it. So there's that. Um... To my eye, as far as anything else cosmetic, you know, you got a little bit of, you know, where your powder coating's kind of doing its thing. But overall, that will probably be about it. Um, I will try and get you some information to update you on the uh, trailer. 
which is being made the road worthy, um, you know, just being serviced basically as it needs be. But that'll kind of do it all together. Like I said, um, hopefully this helps out. Once again, Rob closing out on a 1999 Boston Whaler 23 Conquest. We got dual GPSs. Oh, let's just get down in here. 103.5, 101.6. There's your THC 10. There's your wind list. And there's your trim tab controls. Uh, you know, uh, twin Yamahas 2011 as titled. Uh, 104 hours, we're going to call it, and all services up to date. Just a quick peek here. You guys can see. Perco switches to go along with your new batteries, new marine water from the separators, and new a bunch of other stuff. So any of that about do it out here, out of Pimento Bluff in Bluffton, South Carolina, one of my favorite places on the planet. So Rob and I'm always in hotwater.com, signing off, wishing you guys a great and safe boating day.